Hey everybody, Send Break here, I have a synthesizer. I'm going to talk a little bit about each synthesizer that I have and the very basics of the waveform theory that it uses to create patches. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is the Level DX1, and then I'll talk about the CD5000 a little bit, and the Level 50. I'm going to talk about the DX9 first, since it uses sine waves, and sine waves are actually the most pure um, waveform that there is. And it actually has no harmonics or, or overtones at all, so it's very plain sounding. It only had this fundamental frequency. So, for instance, a 440 would be 440 hertz, and that's all there would be. So, uh, it doesn't have any distortion to it because there's no overtones to get in the way. There, uh, it actually travels well too in the air. Okay. Uh, the whole FM since this theory is a little bit uh, confusing in the beginning. Uh, you're basically using operators, which are sort of like oscillators in FM terms. And you're kind of either multiplying or adding sine waves together in different frequencies and amplitudes together to create a composite waveform. Uh, the CD also uses the composite waveform situation, uh, very similar to the DX9, and I'll explain that in a second. So here is the sine wave. Uh, the most pure of all waveforms and the most simplest. Okay. Uh, the CD5000 uses a synthesis theory called phase distortion, which is very similar to FM, and both these two are very similar to phase modulation. And um, sometimes you can make very similar sounds on the CD as you can the DX9. So, what I've actually made here is initialize the patch on the CD and went to the uh, DCW, which is right here equivalent to its filter. Uh, went into rate 1 and changed it all the way down to 0 and left everything else at the uh, initialized setting. And then I went into the amplifier into rate 2 and changed rate 1 into uh, or to uh, 99 so there's no release time at all. So here's the CD. Here's DX. And they sound pretty much exactly alike. So if you filter down a sound or you go into its equivalent of a filter and turn that all the way down, then they both sound exactly like. So you almost probably would never know which one's which. Um, anyways, <laughs> so these two, um, you can make similar sounds to the DX that you can on the CD, but the CD sounds a little bit thinner and a little colder of a sound and it's a little bit more limited than the DX is. So, it's a little faster to program patches on here, but they have a different quality on the DX9. So there's sine wave. Okay. And here are the couple of patches that I've written for DX9. This is uh, supposed to be sine wave-like, very pure. And then the bass patch that I like to use. Okay, so that's DX9 and CZ. I won't go into too much more detail because I don't want to put everybody to sleep here. Okay, <laughs> so here's the uh, lovely D50. And D50 offers a square wave and a uh, saw wave to compose your sounds with. It also has a lot of LFO routing options and all that good stuff. Um, so, right now it is on a square wave, and a square wave has only odd harmonics. And here it is, it sounds very hollow because of it. A square wave. And a saw wave, and a saw wave has even and odd harmonics, and it sounds a little thin because of it. Very buzzy sound. So it's good for uh, string patches and some lead sounds and things like that. Alright, so that is a little bit about each uh, waveform in the series. Uh, I do have some pictures to show examples of. This might help.
Okay, it's uh, it's going way up here. And a hallway. And a um and a solid wave here. Okay. And bubbly pulse width. So that it really helps a few of the elements that you can use to create your patches. Alrighty. Oh, and I don't want to go into too much more detail with that either because sometimes uh, it bores people to death. But anyways, uh, if you have any more questions, just uh, write a comment and I can try to explain it a little bit better. So there is D50. And the yeah, F9 and CZ5000. Uh, the synthesis method that um, the X uses is FM. The CZ is phase distortion. The Alvedino is analog subtractive. And the D50 is linear arithmetic synthesis. Alright. Everybody have a fantastic Saturday.